Well, map weed season is upon us. <clears throat> We're at the point now where it seems like every morning I get up and I have to go up and pull map weed. You can see here all the driveway. This is all the stuff that I've been yanking out of the woods. <clears throat> but fortunately, most of my lupin is starting to go to seed. Once that happens, I can rake and mow all this out, most of it. Once that all dies down, and then it'll be a lot easier to try to get after that map weed. It won't be like a daily exercise of map weed hunt. <clears throat> I just about <laughs> sure that this stuff grows overnight, foot tall. Anyway. Most of everything else, as you can see, is starting to go to seed. It's that time of year. Everything's getting ready to die off and go brown. But in the shade here, at least, it looks pretty nice. I found that the uh, between this brush and the lupin <coughs> tends to crowd out the knapweed pretty good. So these areas, I don't tend to have to <coughs> weed as much. The combination of that and shade seems to help. But I'm thinking that next year, after I get through raking all this wonderful lupin and vetch seed back into the ground, next spring it should come up with even more lupin and vetch. That's exactly what's happened up here. So, and right now we're at the point where the only water on the property for the birdies is that. My bird bath, because the seasonal pond is dry as a bone and hasn't rained. And my potato experiment is going, but there's a potato plant. There's a potato plant that Bambi munched on. <laughs> and more potato plants. And this is just me trying to see if I can grow potatoes and raked up pine needles. And so far it looks good. And they're staying wet and moist and actually seem to be somewhat thriving. Well, I think I probably could have put them in earlier, but this whole berm is nothing but planted potatoes and only a few of them have come up, so <clears throat> maybe there's better ways to go about this. Or I should have started early. There we go. Another nap weed. They're evil. It's a constant battle. But as you can see, see more, bam, more seeds. So <clears throat> this is the first year for this field here, and I'm thinking that it's mostly something else besides napweed. So if I rake it back in, the seeds from that should put more mostly not napweed into the ground, and I should have less napweed next year and more flowers and happy deer. So anyway. Um, the places where I've developed more, like here, you see this all kind of exploded. I don't think I pulled a single nap weed out of any of this. It seems like if you plant enough, for the, I'm going to grow all these different flowers and such. So basically it's a big crowded mess like this. <coughs> now the nap weed has a hard time getting started on that. Anyway, you can see that side's where I really kind of went at it. I'm going to have to build this berm some more. This entire field, I'm thinking probably next week or something. Because all this vetch and uh, <coughs> lupin is dying off. The idea is to harvest all that and throw it onto the berms so the berms get even more stuff growing in. This starts resembling lawn. Anyway. <coughs> But the only time I really can come out here and do much is the first thing in the morning. I like the bees when they come out. Got some very big bumblebees here. Haven't seen a yellow butterfly in about a week or so, but they were all over the place here, these yellow and black butterflies. 
You know, this other berm also planted a bunch of potatoes. Didn't do as well. Seems they like the shadier spots on my property. I guess it's cooler and damper. Again, without irrigation. So <clears throat> the whole water project over here has kind of come to a, a bit of a, a halt. But you, know, you can see the berms and whatnot are starting to they're filling out. They look pretty good now, but by next week it'll all be kind of dead. And I'll be taking all that and throwing it on top of the other stuff and kind of stamping it down so it's not fire danger. Hopefully it'll all come out. I'm starting to get more of these flowers that have been coming out lately. to open up later in the day. You can see them a lot in different colors, yellows and oranges and reds and whatnot. They just seem to be coming up everywhere. <clears throat> I don't know how they got here. And lots of this stuff. I think it's some kind of money plant or something. I don't know. These were all like seeds, so anyway, I could probably throw some more of those around. So far, no sunflowers, but maybe that's later. Yeah, this is a standstill because it's like the hardest, hottest part of the property. And I still have to go haul gravel and all that to backfill all this. Just haven't got to it, <clears throat> but doing pretty well. The birdies in the bird condo seem to have mostly moved out. There's little holes in there. You can see a little nest. Anyway, so it'll be soon time to be messing with that. Kind of keep picking away at this every so often. It's one of the few places you can work where you're not sweating. <clears throat> Still working on breaking some stuff out and getting those berms over there taller. But this is first year, so we're just starting in this area. <clears throat> My experience has been whenever I clear ground like this, this is where napweed likes to be. So I'm going to have to seed all this with some vetch and lupin and grass and such and see if I can crowd it out because this is going to be the, the napweed nightmare I think next year. Seems every time I rake an area out and get it all cleaned up of all its thatch everything starts growing and then the first thing that tends to show up is napweed or in Spokane.
and work on getting these berms higher. They'll be piled high with more grasses and such. <clears throat> I got a lot of the trails in last year. You know, laid out all the rocks. Just a lot of hauling of rock and stone and digging and raking and whatnot. But I got most of the trails in the first half of the property done. <clears throat> Define, started defining where the berms are going. Got some big ones in. And now it's kind of just filling in with the right plants. And I'm thinking I'm getting close on a lot of it. In the, in this front half of the property. I don't think I could have done it without that wheelbarrow, which takes all the weight off your hands and puts it on the handles. The only problem is, <clears throat> this is mechanically activated, you see, and you have to push down on the little button while taking the weight off the rod while you lift. And I have not met anyone yet who can run this wheelbarrow properly even after being told repeatedly over a period of weeks without bending up the linkage lever or whatnot. So <clears throat> if you are fairly intelligent and adaptable, this is work, this will save your back. If you're working with others, you need to get into the wheelbarrow. But this has really helped with the heavy rock, moving mud and clay around. This has been really helpful. Anyway, this is pretty much what I do. Most of the, most of the time it's either running that the digging bar and the big rake rather than heavy machinery so I'm getting in good shape and these berms are starting to really look like something I like the little hidden trailways that go through the berm system and such but yeah it's substantial just the vegetation that sprung up in a year doubled the height of the berm so it really does kind of add a privacy to the whole thing and I got most of my curbing in anyway a lot of time in the morning Every morning when you pull a nap weed, you can see bundles of nap weed all over the driveway where I'm pulling it out, waiting for me to go pick it back up and throw it into some place where it can get burned as soon as the burn ban is done. <coughs> Pretty good angle on the camera down the driveway. Still playing with it though. Need to get wire string out here. I don't like wire wireless things. They tend to mess up. Anyway, that's pretty much what this is pretty much what's been happening in the garden. Um, no short of those <coughs> daisies and other stuff coming up. Uh, every week up until right about now, it's been a different type of flower or wildflowers kind of coming up into bloom. The last month and a half, two months. Now it's all going to go brown, but that's Spokane, until I get the irrigation. Hopefully that irrigation system, that pond, next year will make this stay green longer. So anyway, that's it for the garden report. Um, I've noticed that if you <coughs> do the whole Kung Fu Ma Bu stance while pulling weeds and keeping your back straight, it seems to help. You get sore legs, but they still remain functional. So, anyway, that's it.